Do not let the success get to your head and do not let the failures get to your heart. Hello, I'm Dr. Preeti. I am MRCOG mentor for MRCOG Gold. Recently, we have had results of part one and part two candidates and I'm very proud to say that MRCOG Gold has very good results with candidates coming out in flying colors from the exam with very, very, very good percentages. Many of my candidates are first attempters. Well, this video is not for them who could do it this time. This is for those who are going to do it the next time. Because I have messages coming in my inbox. You are feeling sad, you are feeling miserable, you are feeling not worthy. And I know what you are feeling. Because I have been through it. So that's completely normal. It's okay. Let me tell you the things that you can do now. Step number one. You feel sad. The more early you accept that you could not do it this time, the more early you will be putting yourself at ease and starting your new plan. So it's okay to feel sad. It's human to do that. So take your time. Take your time to accept the result, whatever it is. Step number two, pat on your back. It's really courageous. It's really brave to give exam in this pandemic. Believe me, it's not at all an easy thing to attempt for exam where people were actually running for their lives in this very, very, very difficult year of 2020. So you actually attempted for the exam. What do you think? You are ordinary? No. So you really, really, really deserve a clap. Step number three. Take a break. Forget that you were ever giving MRCUG. Forget MRCUG. Stop talking to people who are giving MRCUG. Stop asking questions. Take a complete break. You deserve it. I know the sacrifices that we make when we are giving exams like MRCOG. So take rest. After you have done with that, start again. Start again because the moment you start again, you are turning your failure into success. It will be difficult for a couple of days when you start again. And that's again very human, very not natural. So what to do? Take the first right step. What's the first right step? Start making the plan. Find out what went wrong last time. Find out whether you want a study partner this time or if you have had a study partner last time and you are not comfortable, you want to study alone this time. Make changes whatever you made you feel uncomfortable the last time you were giving your exam. It's not necessary that they are always going to be beneficial. But for the sake of starting again, find out if there is anything that you could have done better last time. So be comfortable with whatever you want to go ahead with. Set your goals. To achieve it, take small steps. Give yourself targets every day. Your targets should be specific, measurable, achievable, realistic and should have time limit so they should be smart right because once you start thinking of the whole portion once you start thinking of clearing mrcog then that's the time the anxiety starts start thinking of one day start thinking of two hours right when you start doing that you will focus on what you're reading and lastly, believe in yourself. Believe me, that's the most important thing that we all need to achieve success. Remember, failures only make the road to success more strong. So failures are actually not failures, they are experiences. And believe me, people who have had more failures are more strong today. So with that note, I would say, set your goals. I am Dr. Preeti, 
एम आर सी ओ जी को थैंक यू वेरी मच गाइज